Steve Regal goes to the eyes of Big Scott Hall. Look at Scott Hall reverse around and right back into the bear hug. I'll tell you. Out of the frying pan into the fire on that one. Al DeRosa, Scott Hall has got some kind of upper body strength. He could easily crack one or two of Steve Regal's ribs. Absolutely. He is a giant of a man, I'll tell you that. I can't necessarily say that I blame Jimmy Garvin. I don't know that I'd want to step into the ring against an aroused Scott Hall, who stands six foot nine and weighs about 305 pounds without an ounce of fat on him. You see Steve Regal going for the hair, but the referee was right there, Marty Miller ordering the break. Now up against the ropes, Regal with a handbag. Talk about upper body strength. Scott Hall says, all I did was hit him with a forearm and run the legal. It's not my fault if you have to across the ring. There's no penalty for being strong, is there, ref? Now, Garvin and Regal in a bit of a strategy session. They're going to need some strategy yes, the way this are. team of Kurt Henning and Scott Hall has started off. Of course, of Henning and, and Hall, as you said, can if they can score a, a victory over the uh, the champions in this non-title bout that puts them right up on top and so far they have had things very much the way they wanted it and Scott Hall now with a headlock on Mr. Electricity the upper body strength of Scott Hall off the ropes they come oh look at Scott Hall delivers the green to go to Jimmy Garvin now returns a favor to Steve Regal Driving and Regal once again. They're going to bail out and talk it over. You see now the screen, the reaction is all like this tremendous crowd on hand here in Winnipeg. About 99.5% of which Al Russia are behind Scott Hall and Steve Regal. Absolutely, and Scott Hall is saying, we want those belts, we want those belts. Of course, along with those belts go all the... All the contracts, all the glory, all the money. It's it's the epitome, of course, of wrestling is to hold those tag team belts, and that's what this heading and all want right now, and they want it bad. They get this, I'm sure the promoters have got to give them oh, a championship shot. No question about it. No question about it. Jimmy Garvin doesn't look too anxious to tie up with Scott Hall, and I don't can't say as I can play. Play. to see, Ken, what they talked over the champions. I'm sure they said, hey, let's get this thing going. It's not going our way. Probably the first thing they said is, boy, am I glad we didn't put the title on the line. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, George's Jimmy Garvin resorts to the tactics he is well known for. The knees, the close fist. Look at this. Reversal. Up and over, back down. Scott Hall goes right to work, grabs him in a headlock. <laughs> Continues to grind away. Look at that. Garvin trying. Look at oh, that. Can you Garvin believe that? Tried to tag Did off. you see that? Steve Regal wanted no part of it. I don't believe it. Clearly, Steve Regal refused the tag. Looking for me, here I am. 
takes him right down to the mat. I'll tell you, we've got to make it done if we get the opportunity at some point to talk to Steve Rigo. I mean, he blatantly refused the tag. Absolutely, without a doubt. And, and I, I can't remember the time when I've ever seen tag team champions that have a partner turn his back. I don't understand it. Well, perhaps there's a little dissension brewing in the camp of gorgeous Jimmy Garvin and Steve Regal. We'll have to wait and see now. Now Garvin takes, now Steve Regal makes the tag. And Scott Hall sees it coming and greets Mr. Regal with a headlock once again. Tags off to Kurt Hennig. And Kurt goes right back to a headlock and grinds away with that head around. Talk about fantastic wrestling action. You've seen it now, Ken. Scott Hall. Scott Hall jumped right in. Garvin irate that the fans tipped him off. I'll tell you, we're over 10 minutes into this one, Al Darush, and it's been all Kurt Hennig and Scott Hall since before the bell rang. Absolutely, and it's been nonstop action for 10 minutes, too, Kent. Look at the physique in the background. Six foot nine, 305 pounds. No wonder they call him Big Scott Hall. The man, Al Darusha, as a hobby, when he has some time off from his grueling wrestling schedule, lives in Tampa, Florida, and he wrestles alligators at one of the local amusement parks. I heard that. He was uh, he was being um, uh, interviewed by some reporters the other day, and he was telling that story. That's absolutely unbelievable. I guess he and a couple of his buddies get together and go down and, uh, and play a little bit with the alligators, if you can believe that one. Oh, wow. and it cuts fantastic. Garvin tried to distract the referee. Kurt Hennig came up and looked like a karate thrust. Oh, oh, over, over the top rope, gorgeous Jimmy I Garvin. That referee, Marty Miller, distracted. Nope. Marty Miller didn't see it. You fans saw it clearly. Now Garvin tags off to Regal. Kurt Hennig, you could tell, hurt his back badly. Oh, and Garvin. a kick in the head for his efforts, too, trying to get back into that ring. Now you see what happened. They're distracting the referee. Steve Regal goes over and pounds young Henning's head right on that now, oh, kicking back, him in the head. Going back again. Kurt Henning, it could be it's a very serious trouble right here. Regal again with a boot to the head. Scott Hall is absolutely irate in the ring, but every time he distracts the referee, Regal comes back with another boot. Another shot to the head of Kurt Henning. Oh. his head into the end of the ring. Now, that padding doesn't quite extend all the way. So he's hitting him right on the wood underneath. Young Henning trying to shake it off. Oh, oh and a knee right to the shoulders, and down he goes again on that hard surface. Boy, I'll tell you, he's got to be out of it. And another kick in the head. Kurt Henning, gamely trying to get back into the ring. Garvin there to meet him. Takes him off the far ropes. He missed. Oh, he caught him that time. Oh! Kurt Eddick may be out of it. This could well be it. Got a two. I don't believe it. How in the world? Kurt Eddick was able to dig down. Oh! Right into the knee. While the tag off. Garvin holds on to him from tagging off. Kurt Henning just going on instinct. I, I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows where he's at. You talk about a glazed look at someone's eyes. Oh! Flying elbow, right smack dab in the middle of the forehead. Now look at this, instead of going right after, this is a mistake. Steve Regal strutting around, playing to the great crowd here. That may have cost him. Just giving Kurt Hennig a few extra seconds to breathe. Pile driver? Nope. No. Oh, head cracker. Steve Regal very pleased with himself, tags off to gorgeous Jimmy Garvin. Ah. Garvin now goes for the cover. Again, just barely got it. I think there, Al, Jimmy Garvin made a mistake. He should have hooked that leg, taken the leverage out from underneath Kurt Hennig. If he had done that, he might have had him. Absolutely. You're right, Ken, because I don't think Kurt could have picked out of that. It's Kurt. going to be interesting if, if, if Kurt Hennig can get that tag. See, he's dazed. He's looking in the wrong corner. He doesn't know exactly what's happening to him. He's trying to tag off, but he doesn't know where he's going. It appears we may be having some technical difficulties with our picture. 
Especially with four great athletes in the ring. They're moving around that ring, Ken, and it's pretty doggone tough for one referee to keep his eye on everything. Now, wait a minute, Al Rush. Take a look at the top turnbuckle in that corner. They've undone it. There's absolutely no padding on it whatsoever. Now, Steve Regal. Or Steve to Regal. Third headed, gamely fighting back. Trying to get over his pad. Again, referee Marty Miller out of position. Garvin hammering away blatantly. Henning has got to be out on his feet. There was absolutely no question about it. Third Henning twice down this. Oh! Yep. But now, wait a minute. Garvin took a shot there, too. Both down, Garvin. Double knockout for both down, Ken. Henning trying to get to his feet. Kurt shaking his head, trying to shake it off. Of course, Garvin takes off. He did it. There comes big John Hall. And as he rear the door. Oh. Tremendous forearm smash. Oh. Oh, and if I'd like to throw him out of the arena. Jimmy oh. Garvin is playing over in the other corner. John Hall showing absolutely no mercy on Steve Regal. Oh, the comic drop. Pleading for mercy. I don't think Scott Hall feels too sorry for Steve Regal right about now. Off the ropes. Up. Rides into the mat. Picks up Garvin. Slams him down. Regal slams him down. Picks up Garvin. Slams him again. Oh. 